Hey guys, how's it going? Hopefully you're having a great day. I got my hands on the uh, brand new upcoming release from Shimano, the new Corrado DC with the uh, computer chip inside. I'm very, 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 very excited to catch some fish on this reel right here. Let's uh, quickly open her up. Just jokes. No, I'm not joking with you guys. I actually took it out of the package already, as you guys can see right here. Check the uh, top corners for the video I just filmed. I did a quick uh, casting comparison and casting test with the DC right here. I put it up against its uh, sister reel, I guess you could say. The, I have it right here, the uh, Corrado K. But um, I'm very excited to use this reel and catch some fish on this reel right here, guys. But before I do that, I want to quickly talk about some technology in the brand new Corrado DC. So this is the very first um, affordable DC reel that has come to America. Most of you guys probably know, but there's a lot of uh, DC reels out in Japan. Uh, for years now, guys have been ordering them from Japan and bringing them over to America. Uh, there have been, I'm pretty sure, a couple of DC reels here. In, in America, but they've been like super super expensive. This is the very very first reel right here of its kind here in America that you guys and I will be able to afford. This guy's going to retail at $249.99 USD. So uh, very very affordable reel and some amazing technologies in this guy right here. So the technology in the Carl DC that makes it so special is the microcomputer inside this reel right here. So if you guys open up the side plate of the new Crow DC, you guys will see where the magic happens. As you guys can see, the side plate is constructed a little bit differently. Behind this white and black uh, construction, I guess you can say, is the microchip or the microcomputer that regulates the speed of the spool. Um, so as you guys can see, it's sealed, so it's not going to get corroded or anything like that. And um, in there is the microchip or the microcomputer that constantly measures the speed of your spool and applies braking force to prevent backlash. So it actually uh, reads the speed of your spool 1,000 times in one second. Now that's absolutely insane. So you're pretty much constantly getting um, the the magic, I guess you could say. You're constantly, the reel is constantly measuring the speed. It's constantly applying the force. So what that allows you to do is make extremely long casts and it makes it a lot easier to cast, especially if you're casting into the wind. So from that uh, the casting test I just did, the DC outcasts the Corrado K between 20 and 40 feet. Now that's just with my casting ability. I've seen people outcast by like 45 feet, which is absolutely insane. Uh, but the most I got was that 38 to 40 feet mark. Again, I'll link that video up here and down below. But um, <laughs> it's absolutely insane, guys. I, it's, it's such a pleasure to cast. And of course it has that, that sound, the DC sound. Some people don't like it. I love it. Um, it sounds bad ass. <laughs> So let me quickly talk about the casting options on this reel. First off, you have open. Then you have your first catch, uh, casting option, which is number one, as you guys can see. Now that's the least amount of breaking force or resistance that will allow you to cast the furthest. And it's ideal for those perfect, you know, slick calm conditions. If I was to cast right now with uh, the first option right here, I would need to use my thumb, I would have to, um, you know, be careful of backlash and some tangles. Next up, we have option two, right there. Uh, option two is for your braid and your monofilament lines. We have option three, which is for your fluorocarbon line, which I have on right now. And we have option four, which is the most uh, breaking and the most resistance. And that is for your skipping or if you're casting into very, very heavy wind, um, that is your ideal uh, position right there, number four. So this technology has been around for a pretty long time. Although this reel is brand new to America, the technology is not. So it is tried and tested and it does work. So if you guys are, you know, iffy about this whole technology, don't worry guys, it's been around for a while. 
it works. Um, a lot of reels have been sold with DC technology and now it's here in the Corrado format. I actually want to quickly talk about the uh, frame itself. So this is actually the Corrado K frame. It is a different color. It's, it's a gray color or a silver color compared to the K which is black. The only difference is the spool is not a 200 size spool. It's a 150 size spool so it holds a little bit less line and the side plate itself is a little bit different as you guys can see. Um, of course it has to hold the microchip inside so it has to be different but um, same size pretty much as the Corrado K just different side plate and a different uh, different spool size. So it's pretty cool to have a reel like this that kind of matches the conditions that you're fishing you know it doesn't depend it doesn't matter what lure you're throwing you set the reel on the conditions you're fishing it's having it's like having a miniature brain inside your reel that kind of kind of helps you out a little bit which is pretty pretty cool but uh, that being said it's time to go catch some fish on this guy right here all right guys so I have decided to go with a good old tube right here on a little half ounce head on a on a bait caster which is kind of all you northern guys are probably looking at me like what the heck am I doing but yes we're going on a bait caster because I want to use this DC as you guys probably see I have a couple more rods with me but I'm only going to use this rod today or this reel I guess today to see if I can catch some fish on it starting off with the tube just to uh woo! Did you guys see that? <laughs> I'm on setting one right now, which is the lowest setting, like I said. That was no effort at all. I even thumbed it because I forgot I don't have to thumb it. I'm going to quickly set the reel on three, which is the uh, fluorocarbon setting, as you guys can see right here. And uh, let's let her rip. <laughs> it's like no effort in casting this reel at all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Are you excited about the reel, Bruno? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Same spot. Same spot. Oh, no, don't come off. Don't come off. Don't come off. Don't come off. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Come over here. Come over here. Ah. There you go, guys. Hook them funny, but... First fish on a Corrado DC for me right there. There she is, guys. Crow DC. Little post spawn fish right there, guys. Awesome. First fish on the Crow DC. I'm actually going to stay out here a little bit longer so we can catch a couple more, maybe some uh, bigger ones right there. But that's, that's awesome. Let's put it back. Boop. Yeah, there you go, guys. There you go, guys. Stay pinned, please. Oh, stay pinned. Definitely got me in the grass. A hundred percent got me in the grass. Oh, the oh! Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my god, that was a toad. Are you? I saw it. No. He jumped, flapped his head, and unhooked himself. I gotta get a better hook set in them. Hook set in the uh, top of the mouth. Keep on side hooking them. I gotta get off the water soon because he's about to have a heart attack over here. So, oh man, that was a toad. Oh, damn it. A little rusty, a little rusty. I'm just sticking him in the water so he cools down a little bit. Not like torturing him or anything like that. At least that's not the plan. Yeah, on. On. Top of the top of the mouth hooks at this time, guys. Ugh. Large mouth. Large mouth. 
He got it good. He got it good. He got it good. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. He got it good, guys. But I got it out oh, on the two bunts again. I don't know if you guys can see, but he has like a perch tail or something down his throat. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's actually where I'm going to end this video. Two fish on the Karate K and a little, I guess, unboxing almost for you guys. But I'm very, very, very excited about this reel. I'm very excited for you guys to try it. Um, it's pretty mind-blowing every time you cast with it. I'm very, very impressed with it, as you guys can see right here. But other than that, I'm gonna leave a link down below to Tackle Warehouse where you can actually pre-order this reel. It's coming out iCast July 10th, I believe. That's when iCast starts. But you can pre-order on most bigger uh, tackle shops. So uh, that is it right there, the Corrado DC. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.